Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 47 if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is Masanori Fukushima. So yeah, uh, Masanori's weapon is called Goldbreaker. Yeah, I have no idea why Goldbreaker, but yeah, that, that's that's how it is. And Masanori Fukushima is power attack oriented guy, which means that he has four three layered power attacks and five strong hyper attacks. His special skill is like this: down the enemy, lowering enemy defense, but raising enemy attack. Okay, so basically. It's like town from Sengoku Basaraya. You make enemies more aggressive, but you lower their defenses. So yeah, it's it's like a it's kind of risky move, but yeah, I guess that's how like how Masanori Fukushima likes to play. All right, so let's start with aerial attacks. So this is a square and triangle is like this. Thank you, thank you so much for interrupting the animation. Uh, this is why I don't like this game so much. Everyone is still ordering you around. Do this. Go there. Kill this dude. Do this. Defend this guy. For fuck's sake. Let me play. Okay, so... <laughs> now, uh, his, uh, his um, square string. Oh. Damn it. I must demonstrate my... No, 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 don't kill him. I need to demonstrate my counter-attack. Ah, fuck! I missed my opportunity when everyone was like down on their asses. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's continue with, uh, with our square string. So, square string again is like this. Now, his first power attack. So, nothing too impressive, if you ask me. His second power attack is like this. He stomps the ground multiple times. One more time. Okay, so now his third power attack. One, two, three. It's like this. It's pretty powerful, but yeah, it's very slow and it leaves you in this dizzy-like state for a while, so yeah. And the uh, fourth one is like this. One, two, three, four. So yeah, this is probably the most useful of his uh, power attacks, so one more time. Yeah, definitely the best of his power attacks. Now his hyper string. So his hyper string is like this. And his strong hyper attacks are like this. This is first one. Second one is cross check. Third one is again like this. And fourth one is again a cross check. And the last one. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, it's like this. All right, so now he's Muso. He slams the ground, and then it's like uh, one fiery fist. Yeah, it's kind of okay, but nothing too special. So now let's let's demonstrate R one. Okay, so you see how everyone is like super fired up. That's because I taunt them. But yeah, they have lower defenses. So now let's call our horse and demonstrate the horse moveset. So again, Masanori Fukushima is one of those guys who likes to attack only one side of the horse. And one, two, three. One, two, three, I said. Oh, what? One, two, three. Oh, that was really cool. Uh, you know, I don't really use horses much, so I don't really know what these characters can do on horses, so that's why I was surprised, If, <laughs> in case you're surprised that I'm surprised. Alright, so now, uh, to Masanori Fukushima himself, uh, 
Yeah, so he's like a cousin of Hideyoshi Toyotomi, and he was also like his uh, his protege, and uh, he didn't got along with uh, Mitsunari Ishida, so that's the reason why he sided with Yasu Tokugawa because yeah, like Mitsunari Ishida, he was kind of like he was not really good with uh, with you know so social uh, social things. So that's probably why he didn't really succeed in the end. Um, and yeah, Masanori Fukushima is one of those uh, people who didn't like Mitsunari Ishida. He was also probably really badass because he was uh, like one of the like super superior swordsmen, not swordsmen, spearmen. Yeah. Oh, let's let me try to demonstrate again what my counter attack. Oh man, that was even worse. <laughs> that was even worse than the first than the first one. Uh, so yeah, why he is number forty-seven? Uh, to be honest, his gameplay is kind of boring, but uh, I kind of like his <laughs> I kind of like his looks. You know, uh, I like uh, when characters like when they are dressed and undressed in, at the same time you know when you have like your your clothing only on one shoulder that is super badass yeah that's that's sufficient and also <laughs> i love that face that he's making you know he has that face uh, of young delinquent you know like hey you you're here to looking for trouble you you wanna you wanna start a trouble punk and then he's pounded into ground by a main hero so so it's really refreshing to be able to play as this type of guy because yeah th these guys they are usually like obliterated in first episode of the anime you know <laughs> to demonstrate how badass main hero is so now let's demonstrate our muso frenzy attack uh, for example here doesn't really matter. And so yeah, he's like, he spawns lava from the earth. That's maybe why his weapon is called Gold Breaker, because yeah, you're like mining for gold or whatever. Okay, so it's Masanori Fukushima, he's not in Sengoku Basara. This time I'm, I'm really sure that he's not in Sengoku Basara. At least he's not playable, he's probably there as some regular general or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure if he will get into Sengoku Basara because from what I heard he's not that uh, historically significant. But hey, <laughs> for example we got we got Chikanosuke Yamanaka who's not really historically significant e either so yeah maybe we will get Masanori Fukushima. So tell me what do you guys think about Masanori Fukushima, do you like him, do you dislike him? And yeah, I'll see you guys next time, so farewell!